Now, we might wonder, why does right hemisphere contributor CR handle the then, but not the if? It's because this right hemisphere contributor CR region chains logical statements or objects together into plans using what mathematics would call AND structures, and these define a sequential memory addressing scheme. And that does not easily relocate itself. For instance, we might imagine sheets of paper as they were chained together in a roll of toilet paper. Suppose we were asked to move from sheet 24 to sheet 258. We would have to find some place where we could unroll the paper, and then we would have to walk along the roll of sheets until we arrived at our destination. It is the left hemisphere, CL, that initiates the logical IF. It does this by taking what Heidegger calls a stand on its being. It can do this very flexibly because it deals with branched ORs, and these set up a random addressing memory system. It would be like having sheets of paper bound into a book, rather than chained in a roll. We would then be able to flip instantly from page 24 to page 258. What does all of this have to do with economics? Well, what do we do in a market system? If my neighbor owns a shovel, and I need to clear the snow from my driveway, then I can trade the use of my skis for his shovel, and both of us will get the job done. Can kinship make this kind of an exchange? No, because kinship assumes that everyone is similar. I have a shovel, you have a shovel, we all have shovels. If there is only one shovel, then it is owned communally. It is when my neighbor has a shovel, and he owns it, and I don't, that Dasein triggers. We conclude that Dasein with its if-then logic is very critically related to modern economics. Okay, let's move further. We stated in previous episodes that CL, where Dasein originates, is the home of the will. How does this will operate? Does it choose our actions? Well, not directly. Contrary to what most of us might think, will does not generate an action signal. It is server and perceiver strategies within the left and the right superior parietal regions respectively that generate go signals for action. Single cell recordings in Go no go paradigms have shown that superior parietal neurons in macaques, monkeys, code the intention to move during no go trials. Perceiver strategy turns out to play a particularly crucial role in these action decisions. Our data suggests that the right superior parietal cortex, perceiver, seems to play a key role in interhemispheric visual motor integration and that the nature of the information transferred that best correlates with the crossed-uncrossed difference is a motor intention. Of course, we might have deduced this fact from our previous discussion of dissociative observation. Perceiver strategy can play internally with alternate reality, and at the same time block the associated actions. It does this by neglecting to transmit a motor intention. So, if will in CL does not initiate action, then what does it do? Let's not forget that CL initiates the logical ifs within the mind. That's a very big thing. Moreover, since CL is constructed upon ORs similar to the pages in a book, CL also controls the random access machinery of logical memory. This allows it to direct the underlying context of action and in this way to guide CR means to meet CL ends. Let's look more closely at how it fits together. Planning for action, we notice first of all, takes place in right hemisphere imaginative contributor CR. We read, Our findings indicate that the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, or contributor, contributes to the mnemonic memory processing and above all, to the preparatory set of sequenced actions being planned by this activation, 
which was restricted to the right dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, and thus CR. The results of right hemisphere contributor CR planning are delivered in turn to an area in the right hemisphere called the frontal eye field, or FEF. We read, regarding the premotor areas, when activation maps obtained in this condition were superimposed on anatomical images, we found that the right premotor activation observed during the delay phase, when planning takes place, was located partly in a cortical region where the precentral and the superior frontal sulci intersect, an area that may include the right frontal eye field, FEF in human. Research confirms that right hemisphere planning is visually imaginative. The persistence of significant activation in the premotor area during the delay may indicate a spatial rehearsal, as subjects have to mentally shift their attention from one target to another within the visual sequence maintained in mind. As soon as right hemisphere contributor CR and the right frontal eye field have succeeded in chaining together a projected plan, then the results are transferred to the left hemisphere frontal eye field. Neurology confirms the right dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, or CR, the left frontal eye field, FEF, which works with CL, the right precuneus and cuneus, and the left cerebellum were activated by both visual search and memory search. We suggest that the right dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, or CR, is associated with the process of monitoring and manipulating multiple elements, while the left FEF, the left frontal eye field, which works with CL, is involved in cognitive planning. How is CR planning, as it shapes itself in the twin frontal eye fields, implemented by CL? It turns out that CL suppresses all actions except the first step in the CR-developed chain. Then, when the first step has been performed, it suppresses the first step and releases the second step, and so on throughout the sequence. Again, this is consistent with neurology. We conclude that left dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, or CL, activation is involved directly in cognitive switching, in conjunction with parietal, perceiver and server, and temporal, teacher and mercy, brain regions, which participate in the model building Weltanschauung. So, we have arrived finally at a description of will as it operates in CL. Left hemisphere contributor CL will, when it takes a stand on its being, imposes a mask that suppresses or grays out all elements except the one being noticed. Researchers confirm that CL choice involves the suppression of alternatives. With all levels of constraint combined, significant greater activation was observed in the left dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, BA46-9, under the suppression condition. We argue that the most likely single cognitive function of the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex is to specify a set of responses suitable for a given task and to bias these for selection, sculpting the response space. Moving to mathematics, we might say that a choice of A by CL deselects the disjunctive complement of A within the left hemisphere or structure of memory. This characteristic turns out to be crucial to the architecture of the brain as a logic processor. Okay, 